huge roar. France have Jimmy Vico and Christophe Lemaitre in there. That's a strong team. But we don't think they're contenders here. Jamaica have brought in Omar McLeod, Olympic and world champion in the high hurdles. Julian Fort, then Johan Blake and Usain Bolt. World and Olympic champions and record holders. United States, they've made a change. They brought in Jalen Bacon, who was fourth in the US championships, but he hasn't even broken 10 seconds individually. Then a Turkey team that contains the 200 meter gold medalist, Ramil Guliev, on the final leg. Canada in days gone by had a team to contend, but without De Grasse, that doesn't look likely here. And on the outside lanes with China and Japan. Well, he's used to winning. He's used to winning in the relay. Great Britain, it's a 50-50 shout. In the last 10 World Championship finals, we've won a medal in five, and we've either been disqualified or haven't finished in five. It's all or nothing. We've never won the world title. The men's 4 by 100 meter relay. Safely away, Sijia looks as though he's got a good start and has already taken some ground out of China and is going away from France. Jamaica had a good start, so the USA, but Great Britain are leading it. Jamili's got the back out on the outside. Japan are having a good run. Jamili's running brilliantly down the back straight. He'll give it to Danny Talbot. Great Britain still leading this, it's safe. And now, Johan Blake has got the back, but it's Britain out in front. He's going to be chased by the great man. Mitchell Blake, he's going to get it, and away he goes. The USA have got Coleman chasing, and Usain Bolt is coming. Coleman's coming fast. Mitchell Blake trying to hang on. It's going to be tight. It's going to be gold. A new British record. Bolt has pulled up. Usain Bolt, sadly, ends in tragedy for him and his team. But Great Britain have won the gold medal. Go on! Nathaniel Mitchell Blake! That was phenomenal. And I'm sorry in that moment of excitement about Great Britain that I miss the greatest ever athlete faltering in his last moment. And I'm sure once these celebrations are over for the British team, they'll pause and they'll take a thought for Usain Bolt. But for now, that was simply stunning. Like Colin, though, every change was good. They were in front from the beginning. CJ, CJ Uja got them up to a great start. But then to stand up to that challenge as the girls come over and celebrate, knowing the Bolt was coming, goodness me, Bolt has broken down in his quest to try and give his team something, and that's a measure of the man as well. I'm trying to calm down a little bit and then step back, Colin, but goodness me, and this, this is a sad sight. This is a very, very sad sight. Nobody wants to see a sports person of the calibre of that man end his career in this way. We're all disappointed, goes. as you said, Steve, to see you sing in the condition there. A super champion, as we know, but the great British team were just phenomenal. Steve, that is the third fastest time in history when it comes to four by one running. Great Britain has won this gold medal in the third fastest time ever run. Only Jamaica and the United States have gone faster. An incredible performance from these young men. Justin Gatlin moving away as we see our team celebrate Tru a, a truly sensational, truly sensational performance. There's Jamaica.